the best NFL player from each team of all time. Number 32, Seattle Seahawks. It is Russell Wilson. This guy is a Seattle legend. He took the Seahawks to two Super Bowls and won one of them. This guy, who's literally 5'10 and can barely see above the offensive line, put the Seahawks on his back for a whole decade. Number 31, Atlanta Falcons. It is between Matt Ryan, who won an MVP in 2016 and almost won a Super Bowl for the Falcons. Almost! or one of the best receivers of all time, Julio Jones. We're gonna give it to Julio Jones. Julio Jones was probably the best receiver in the league for maybe eight to 10 years. He averaged 1,500 yards a season with the Falcons, getting a touchdown almost every game. Number 30, the Tennessee Titans. Without a doubt, it is Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry completely put the Titans on his back and took them to multiple playoffs in the last few years. He even won Offensive Player of the Year in 2020, and they always give that award to quarterbacks or wide receivers. So for a running back to win that award, do you know how good he has to be? Let's see how good. 2,000 yards good, along with 17 touchdowns good. That's over one touchdown per game. Number 29, Carolina Panthers. If you're young, the answer is Christian McCaffrey. If you're old, the answer is Steve Smith. But I'm in between where I actually got to watch both of them. The only years the Panthers were good with McCaffrey were the years Cam Newton was good. But Steve Smith was different. For 12 years, he was the number one receiver on the Panthers, leading them to the playoffs a few times. That's why we're picking Steve Smith. Also because he's a really angry guy and if I don't give him the award, he might find me. Number 28, the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow. I know, how is it possible? Joe Burrow, who's only played three seasons? Yeah, the Bengals have been a losing franchise literally for NFL history. They've been terrible. They have never won a Super Bowl in their history. And it only took Joe Burrow one season to turn them around. Two years ago, they were 10 and six and went to the Super Bowl. This season, they were 12 and four and one game away from the Super Bowl. No Bengals player has done that and Joe Burrow has done it in three seasons. Number 27, the Los Angeles Rams. This is practically impossible because you have Aaron Donald, the best defensive tackle in the league, and Cooper Cup, the best wide receiver in the league. They are both the top of the top, but I give the edge to Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is one of the few players in NFL history that wrecks a game and we have to give him the credit. Number 26, the Houston Texans. There is only one player that should be in your mind, and his name is Andre Johnson. When he played, he was one of the best receivers in the league. And even though the Texans were doo-doo, he stayed loyal to them for 12 seasons, making the Pro Bowl, even being a two-time All-Pro player, which is such a hard award to win. Number 25, the Denver Broncos. Let's ride, it's Russell Wilson. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, relax. It is John Elway. And if you were thinking of anybody else, something might be wrong with you because John Elway carried the Broncos for 16 years. He's made the Pro Bowl nine times, and this is my favorite part. He ended his career with back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins. What a boss move. Number 24. Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals have never won a Super Bowl. They've never had that superstar quarterback or a superstar defense, but the one player they had that carried their franchise was Larry Fitzgerald, the best hands in the history of the NFL. You wanna hear one of the craziest stats in NFL history? Larry Fitzgerald, a wide receiver, has more tackles than drops. What? 
He played all 16 seasons of his career in Arizona and made 11 Pro Bowls. Unbelievably impressive, this guy is a Hall of Famer. Number 23, Buffalo Bills. The real best Bill of all time is Bruce Smith, a defensive legend. In 15 seasons with the Bills, he was selected to 11 Pro Bowls and 8 All-Pro squads. Bro, All-Pro means you are the best player at that position. He is the reason the Bills went to 4 straight Super Bowls in the 1990s. Number 22, the Detroit Lions. It's Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders was just next level. This guy was the best running back in the league for a long time. Ever since Barry Sanders, we haven't had someone like him. He was one of a kind. Barry Sanders made 10 Pro Bowls, 6 All-Pro teams. He won the Players MVP in 1997. Two-time Offensive Player of the Year. He has all the awards. I could go on all day long. The only thing he doesn't have is a Super Bowl win, but that's not his fault. That's the Lions. They just don't make good teams around their stars. Number 21, the Kansas City Chiefs. You might think it's too soon. I don't think so. It is Patrick Mahomes. Five seasons, five Pro Bowls, two Super Bowls, Two Super Bowl MVPs. Two time NFL MVP. He's thrown for 5,000 yards two times already. Patrick Mahomes is the Kansas City Chiefs. He is their best player. And that's not an easy award to win. And I don't even like the Chiefs personally. But you have to be honest. Patrick Mahomes is just next level. Number 20, the Los Angeles Chargers. It is LaDainian Tomlinson, the best running back of the 2000s. He broke the record for most touchdowns in a season. He broke the record for most yards in a season. Every running back record, literally every running back record, he broke. He even won MVP. And do you know how hard it is to win MVP if you're not a quarterback? Number 19, the New York Jets. The Jets have been a bad team for a long time. The only player in Jets history to win a Super Bowl for them was Joe Namath. Now this is way back in the day because this was literally Super Bowl 3. But it wasn't just one season. He was a five-time Pro Bowler. And now he's a Hall of Famer. To win the only Super Bowl in franchise history, you gotta give the credit to him. Number 18, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger or Troy Palomalu? They both won two Super Bowls. One of them carried the offense. The other one carried the defense. The best player is... Neither of them. Because the best stealer of all time is Mean Joe Green. Four Super Bowl wins. The coolest nickname in NFL history. Mean Joe Green was on a different level from these other Steelers. He didn't have one bad season, and he spent his entire career in Pittsburgh. Loyal. He spent 12 years with the Steelers and won a Super Bowl four times. One third of his career was winning Super Bowls. Incredible. Number 17, the Baltimore Ravens. There has never been a linebacker like Ray Lewis before. Do you know how many seasons he played with the Ravens? 17 seasons, 12 Pro Bowls, two Super Bowls. He even won a Super Bowl MVP as a defensive player. The Baltimore Ravens defense literally made offenses scared. And that was mainly because of Ray Lewis. Number 16, the Las Vegas Raiders. It would be Khalil Mack if he played his entire career in Oakland, but he only played there for a short time where he dominated, but it's just not enough time. So the best player is actually Tim Brown. I know, not a big name. He was playing in the 90s and he had a 1500 yard season. Nobody was doing that back then. He went to nine Pro Bowls, he's a Hall of Famer, and to be honest, 
there's not a lot of competition. For some reason, the Raiders don't have that many stars back in the day. Number 15, the Cleveland Browns. Jim Brown was a running back for the Browns in the 50s. Is he the reason they're called the Browns? No, I just saved you some time. But he might as well be, because in only nine seasons, he has the most rushing yards in franchise history. He only played nine seasons. How is that possible? Because this guy averaged 120 yards a game. He even had one season where he averaged 130 yards a game. He averaged 5.2 yards per carry and he averaged one touchdown every single game. And in his nine seasons, he won three MVPs. If this happened today, everyone would be losing their minds about Jim Brown. It's just because it happened 60 years ago, that's why people don't talk about it. But it's utterly insane. Number 14, the Dallas Cowboys. One of the most prestigious franchises so many superstars. It comes down to two players for me, Deion Sanders and Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens was more loyal. He played more years for the Cowboys, but I'm sorry, Deion Sanders, prime time, he dominated. Best cornerback in the league, arguably the best cornerback in NFL history. Not to mention he won a Super Bowl with the Cowboys and he was a huge reason they won. Number 13, the Green Bay Packers. Another prestigious franchise with so many options. But it is A.A. Ron. What quarterback has been with the same team for 18 seasons? And 18 great seasons. Before this season, where they went 8-9, Aaron Rodgers had 15 seasons in a row with a winning record. Number 12, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Bro, I almost didn't include them on this list because they have almost no good players, but they have one guy who has been a Hall of Famer and amazing, and his name is Jimmy Smith. Back in the 1990s, there weren't a lot of fast receivers. Most of the receivers were kind of just big. But Jimmy Smith, being only 6'1", was the fastest wide receiver in the league. He was the Tyreek Hill of the 1990s. Easily the best Jaguars player of all time, but Trevor Lawrence is on the right track. And in five years, we could talk about this again, and it might be Trevor Lawrence. Number 11, the Miami Dolphins. Come on, this is easy peasy. Dan Marino, one of the GOATs. Dan Marino is the best player in NFL history to not win a Super Bowl. He was the first quarterback to reach 50,000 passing yards. The first quarterback to reach 60,000 passing yards. The first quarterback to reach 400 touchdowns. He has a total of 40 NFL records. Dan Marino is the record man. But it honestly is sad that he never won a Super Bowl. Number 10, the Washington Commanders. Joe Theismann, the best quarterback they've ever had and the best player they've ever had. He was an NFL MVP and he won a Super Bowl for Washington. They've only had three Super Bowls in their history and Joe Theismann was the reason for one of them. Number nine, the Minnesota Vikings. This is Juicy! Justin Jefferson just broke Randy Moss's single season record for most receiving yards. But obviously it's way too early to give it to Justin Jefferson. So it is Randy Moss who, I mean, he wasn't too bad either. And Randy Moss dominated his entire career. Number eight, the New Orleans Saints. Can you guess it? Come on, he's gotta be in your mind. It's Drew Brees. Drew Brees broke every record, not just for the Saints, but literally for all NFL quarterbacks. He had four seasons with over 5,000 passing yards. One of those seasons, he had 5,500 passing yards, the most in NFL history. Who knows if anyone's ever gonna break that? He won the Saints the Super Bowl. He won Super Bowl MVP. He took them to the playoffs pretty much every season. Number seven, the Philadelphia Eagles. 
I bet you're not gonna guess this one. For some reason, the Eagles haven't had many superstars, but they've had one that just blows everybody else out the water. And his name is Reggie White, one of the best defenders of all time. Reggie White played about 200 games and he got about 200 sacks. Bro, he was 37 years old and he had 16 sacks that season. His nickname is the Minister of Defense. Number six, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It is Derek Brooks who is not a famous name. Derrick Brooks was an outstanding linebacker for the Buccaneers, but he played 14 seasons, all of them with the Bucks, made 11 Pro Bowls, won a Super Bowl for them, won a Defensive Player of the Year as a linebacker, and is a Hall of Famer. Number five, the New York Giants. It is Lawrence. Taylor, the best defensive player in NFL history. He won MVP. He won two Super Bowls for the Giants. A three-time defensive player of the year. To this day, we have not seen a defensive player as good as Lawrence Taylor. I don't think any player is going to be better than Lawrence Taylor on the Giants for a very long time. Numero four, the Chicago Bears. The best running back in NFL history, Walter Payton. Walter Payton has the record for most yards per game in a season. 133 yards per game in 1977. How is that possible? Walter Payton led the Chicago Bears to their only Super Bowl win in their history. Number three, the Indianapolis Colts. You already know, it is Peyton Manning, one of the GOATs. No player in NFL history could read a defense better than Peyton Manning. You want some proof? This guy won five, five MVPs, two Super Bowls, six Offensive Player of the Years. Simply one of the best players we have ever been able to watch in history. Number two, the San Francisco 49ers. Toughest decision of the video because we have Jerry Rice, the best receiver in NFL history, and Joe Montana, a top two quarterback in NFL history. Jerry Rice made 13 Pro Bowls, five more than Joe Montana. But Joe Montana won four Super Bowls, one more than Jerry Rice. I think he is just an inch, just an inch better than Joe Montana, but they are both legends. And number one, the greatest player in NFL history for the New England Patriots, it is Julian Edelman, one of the best wide- I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Tom Brady, I just wanted to mess with you. It's Tom Brady, bro. Who else would it be? Seven Super Bowl rings? Tom Brady is the best quarterback of all time and the best NFL player of all time. 